Alpine anticipates a disappointing start to the season. Mercedes won't release Peter Bonington and the presentation of the Visa Cash RB team car. You will find out all about it in this video. Alpine anticipates a rough start to the season. The Alpine team unveiled the updated concept for the 2024 car. The team's technical director, Matt Harmon, explained that only the steering wheel remains from the old car. Everything else has been changed. Radical changes have affected not only the car's aerodynamics, but also the rear suspension and cooling system. The team hopes these changes will unlock greater development potential in the future, as their previous concept has reached its limit. However, such changes do not mean the car will immediately improve significantly. It's rather a step back to achieve greater productivity growth in the future. Alpine has informed its drivers that at the beginning of the season, the team may not be where it wants to be. We have a new concept. The car is totally new. And when you do that, you normally take a step back. I don't say that this is the case because we haven't put the car down yet. But the plan is to improve it through the year and get more progress the more that we go through the laps. It's going to be crucial to get a good feedback straight away, to know where we have to improve, to see if the concept choices that we took are the right ones. It's not necessarily that crucial where we start, but it's going to be where we are mid-season. Alpine hopes to gain experience working with the new concept at the beginning of the season and apply this knowledge to create updates that can significantly improve the car. Pierre Gasly views this idea positively, motivating himself with the good progress of McLaren and Aston Martin last season. I think definitely it shows in F1 it's possible to have a big comeback through a season. Obviously, it depends from which sort of performance you start the year, so I'm definitely hopeful. I can see the mentality in the team. I can see the spirit. I can see the recruitment. I see where we're heading as a race team. We are making the right steps. Obviously, it's not that straightforward in F1 when you come with a completely new concept. It might not provide all the rewards you expect from the beginning. You've just got to be open-minded about it. But looking at the others, we get inspired by what they're doing. Peter Bonington may stay at Mercedes. After Hamilton signed a deal with Ferrari, rumours began to circulate about the possible transition of his race engineer, Peter Bonington. This seemed like a logical decision, as they have been working together for many years, and Bono has become more than just a teammate to Lewis. However, this transition may not happen due to the terms of Lewis's contract with the Mercedes team. It has been confirmed that there is a no poaching clause in Hamilton's deal that would prevent the driver from directly approaching his soon-to-be former colleagues. Such clauses are typically applied to those in leadership positions, but for example, Sebastian Vettel had such a clause in his contract with Red Bull. When he moved to Ferrari in 2015, he couldn't bring his race engineer, Guillaume Roquelin with him. Visa Cash App RBF1 team unveiled their 2024 car. It seems to be the best livery so far among those already presented. There are minimal unpainted details, a bright and detailed livery reminiscent of the Toro Rosso era. The team's new main sponsors, Visa and Cash App, are also featured on the livery. Following Williams, Visa Cash RB team becomes the second team whose drivers will have white suits. Additionally, the team introduced new helmets for Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo. How do you rate the updated livery? Write in the comments. That's all for today. Enjoyed the video? Give it a like and subscribe. Let's follow the latest news from Formula One together.